Hello and welcome back to the Gauntlet of Greatness. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm joined as usual by Shadow Nutella. How are things, Shadow? Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome indeed. This tournament is getting awesome. We are in the top eight of the modern season of the Gauntlet of Greatness. We've got two decks through to the final four. It's going to be Tron versus Amulet Bloom, which is pretty fitting. I mean, if you've been watching uh, the independent tournament series lately, these are exactly the two decks that just met in the modern finals of the Star City Games Invitational. So two of the big players in modern for sure. They have survived our bracket. They're through to the top four. But what's the other side of the bracket going to look like? That's what we're going to find out today. Uh, the matchup that we are going to play first is going to be Obzon against Green-White Aggro. Um, another name for this Green-White Aggro deck, actually... Wilted Obzon. Um, both of these decks made top eight of the last Pro Tour. Uh, this Obzon deck that you see in front of you right now, right, this is Siege Rhino having its impact on the format. As soon as Fate Reforged and Cons of Tarkir came out, everyone knew that uh, Siege Rhino was going to be a big player. You've got sort of all the green black goodies Tarmogoy, Liliana of the Veil, Abrupt Decay. This is Thoughtseize. This has been a great deck. Sort of black green X has been a staple deck in modern pretty much as long as there's been a modern format. But with the printing of Siege Rhino, white became the color to splash. You can play Lingering Souls, you can play Path to Exile, and yeah, you can play the Big Rhino. So going into the Pro Tour, everybody kind of knew that this deck was going to be a big deal, and uh, the, the version of the deck that I've got here is the version Eric Froelich used to make top eight of that Pro Tour. Um, but the Wilted Obzon deck is a deck Jacob Wilson used to make top eight of that very same Pro Tour, and is very much a reaction against... Obzon. So it's a Siege Rhino deck, but instead of having a bunch of, you know, black cards, Liliana's and, you know, Inquisitions and whatnot, it's basically just green-white aggro. It's got Wiltleaf Liege, which can really punish any opponent that ever goes to plus one on their Liliana. It's got Loxodon Smiter to do the same thing. It's just got these giant 4-4 creatures that come into play very quickly, sometimes even for free. And note that the Wiltleaf Liege gives the green-white gold creatures plus two, plus two. So almost like a little kid beatdown deck, right? Elves and birds to accelerate into good creatures, into, you know, double crusade effects. Kind of a little kid beatdown deck, but in that metagame, it was very good. You can win the Lingering Souls fights with your three Gavini Townships. And yeah, there you go. Uh, these decks have survived the bracket to this point. We can actually go back and look and see how precisely uh, they got here. Uh, Obzon deck beat up on Hate Bears, the Green White Aggro deck beat up on Storm, which is a bit of an upset, but hey, here we are, and now, due to the randomness of the way the pairings came together, Green White Aggro gets to see if it can beat the deck that it was designed to beat. So, shall we play? Sure, I'm looking forward to smashing your face in. <laughs> well, if that was true, then uh, I don't know if you wanted to give me the Wilted Obs on side. I might be using the wrong deck for, for this... Uh, level of bravado that I'm carrying today, but I'm going to try. All right. I am hosting a match in Constructed Open Play getting serious with a 60-minute clock, just so we won't have to worry about it. I will call up Skype and put you on mute. Sure. Hold on. Let me find you. You're Constructed Open Play getting serious, right? Yep. Modern. Two games. One-on-one. -on -one. Yep. See me? There's a lot of people here at the moment. Hold on. Not if you have your settings right, there aren't. My my settings have match option only at 60 minutes and two wins. Like, Did you choose a modern deck? I don't see anybody else in the room. Uh, Getting serious? Oh, I, I had to check and uncheck it because, yeah, I don't know. It... It certainly hated me there for a second, but I should be fine. No worries. Good luck Let to you. Let me move on over to Abzon and click go. Click and go. I'll put you on mute, and I will talk to you after the match. Good luck. All right. I think I like this matchup. We'll see how it plays out. I mean, I definitely, uh, <sighs> yeah, this deck's pretty good against what Shadow has got. Why is he having trouble finding me? Ah, there we go. Okay, great. Definitely want to play first. And this one looks great, right? 
Oh, that's not spectacular. Can accelerate. I can. I mean, I'm, if he doesn't mess with me, I get to go turn two lingering souls into turn three siege right now, or will leaf leech. Uh, uh, I guess. Hyro versus birds is always the weird one. I mean, I have black mana here, so I'm not going to need the birds for black mana. I think I'm going to play the Hyrax so I have the Exalted. But then maybe it's going to get killed, so it's always tricky. What you got? No, oh, funny. I actually don't have four mana for turn three right now. Unless I play birds. So I have to decide whether to play birds or lingering souls. I dare you to take Wiltleaf Liege. I don't think he's going to take Wiltleaf Liege. He's probably supposed to take Siege Rhino, right? Oh, takes the bird. All right. I can live with that. At least now I know what to do this turn. Oh, and we leave and drew land. Funny. Do I tell him I drew land? I probably pay for Overgrown Tomb. Yeah. And then he doesn't know what we drew, and I was going to have to pay for it anyway. Now what? Wiltly Fleege followed by Siege Rhino or the other way around? I probably play the Rhino first. That way I get a hand, which is only Wiltly Fleege if he does any more Thought Seize or Liliana. <sighs> What's his turn to? Hmm. Okay. Down goes Bird. Tough but fair. Oh, this draw kind of this hand kind of worked out though. Um, I have the wind sweep teeth. I definitely need white mana. Do I just get a plains, or do I want a second black? I think I can just get plains. I don't need to pay a life here. Right, and now I can flashback lingering souls. And play a noble hierarch. Whatever, that's two damage either way. And now I have the four mana for either the Rhino or the Whitley Fleece next turn. Man! These cards line up pretty well against the typical Obzon plan, don't they? Tarmogoyf, that's fine. My offense is in the air. Interesting. So now I feel like the Wilt Leaf Leech is better. It actually deals more damage faster. I mean, it lets him Thought Seize me, which is, I guess, less than ideal. If I hit him for four and then Siege Rhino him. Then he's at nine. He's at six. So he's still going to die to the Flyers next turn. If I Wilt Leaf Leech, then I deal eight. He winds up at five. I don't know which of this is better. I feel like, yeah, the possibility of Thoughtseize makes the Siege Rhino play better. Interesting. White, green, black. Oh, there's an herbal head, so I'm getting pictures. Do I play this land drop, or do I let him know that I only have Will Leaf? <laughs> I kind of want to tempt him into uh, thought seizing me to grab whatever this card is. So I'm going to hold that land. Oh, this is why I was supposed to get a multi land? Maybe. Swamp? Yeah, hit me with Tarmoglyph. I'm okay with this.
Sure. <laughs> like it's into nine. Funny. Not quite lethal. With my wilt leaf. Eh, what are you gonna do? Alright, now I'm playing the land, right? Uh, Verdant Catacombs can get a Swamp, which does not cast Wilt Leaf Leash. Oh, I can just tap it for black too. Except that I don't want a Swamp in my deck. I don't want to pay a life. Check. White, green, green. And I'll get the Swamp here. And play Wilt Leaf Leash. For white and two green. Check. Alright, I don't think he can deal 13. And I don't think he can I don't think he can deal with all these spirits. So I think I've got this. Great. Green. This is game one to the green white aggro deck. Sorry about that. Correct the up the score. Obzon zero, green white aggro one. Zealous Persecution is great for lingering souls mirror matches. And I've got this Ajani of Mentor of Heroes hanging out in my sideboard, which I don't know if this card's actually good enough for modern, but hey, it's here, and it seems good in this matchup. I don't think I want anything else. I don't love Thoughtseize in this matchup. Like, I don't have a lot of black mana, and I feel like a lot of times the game is going to wind up in this top deck war. I just, I want to play a bunch of creatures, so I think the Thoughtseize has come out. I could try to mess with his Tarmogoyfs, but I'm not sure that's worth having a card in my deck. I think I just do it this way. I mean, there's not a lot to sideboard here because this deck is essentially kind of pre-sideboarded for the matchup. Like mean, this deck exists in order to feast on the Obzon style decks. So here we go. Oh, I should have played Voice of Resurgence first because he could have had Slaughter Pact. I mean, I know the deck lists. I know he doesn't have it. I don't think he has a main deck. Does he have a main deck Slaughter Pact? It's a good point. I mean, that, that would be the right play. Um, he does not, in fact, have a main deck slaughter pack. He has a main deck dismember. So I think he had a mana up. You're right. I should have played the voice first. What does this draw do? This draw only has two mana, but I'm on the draw. I think I'd keep this. I mean, I'm disappointed not to have a mana creature. But I have two two drops, a three, a four, a path. Yeah, I think I keep it. It's interesting. I feel like we're playing a matchup slightly from the past. Um, the way Modern has evolved in the couple of months since this Pro Tour and since we put this bracket together. Um, the Queen White decks, there's... The Collected Company is a real card. And, like, you can build an Elves version of Collected Company and you can build a sort of podless Maliripod version of Collected Company. Um, yeah, the Company combo, Malira com combo deck seems... It's at least a player. I don't... Oh, wow. That works. I don't know if it's one of the best decks in modern, but it's certainly a player. It's hard to argue with Seed Rhino decks, though, right? No, the card's, the card's really good. I see a lot of Jund running around modern nowadays, too, rather than Obzon. Which you don't get Rhino, you get some other stuff. Mostly it's interesting to me how much Modern has actually continued to evolve in the months since this Pro Tour. Alright, I just play Kitchen Finks, right? It spends my mana more efficiently. I don't particularly want to half this turn. And if I get the fourth mana for Wilt Leaf Leash, I would be very excited to have a green white creature. I mean, I could get that from Voice, but basically comes down to the fact that there's no artifact or enchantment I need to blow up. I'm not using Exalted, and I don't particularly want to play Path this turn, so Kitchen Finks just spends my mana better. More 1-2 Tarmogoyfs. Wow. 
You could try to tempt him into a double block and have a path, or I could just make Kitchen Finks into a 5-4, which seems better. Yeah, I mean, what does he do if I just attack him with a 5-4? I mean, I guess if he's got, like, Dismember, he can turn this into 2-3s. But still, I'd be trading. Yeah, worst case scenario was trade, trade. Best case scenario, he goes to 11. Yeah, it's like a one of dismember that could have punished that play, but I don't think I'm the one of. Scavenging ooze. <laughs> this deck's not doing a whole lot this game. Now what? So I lead with a voice in case he wants to play any instance. I force his hand. Yeah, you want to play instance? I want elemental tokens out of him. And then I think I just go crunching over. I have a paths. Not even clear I'm going to need them. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. If I pass the scavenging ooze, then the Tarmogoyers turn into two threes. I don't. I said because I sent an instant to the yard. I basically have to, if I pass a Tarmogoyf, then it's a two and a two. So I have to use two paths if I want to win this fight. But that seems okay. Essentially, I, three, I get a three for two in my favor. He gets the lands, but still. Keep my Wilt Leaf, obviously. It's not like he has a sweeper in his deck. Yeah, I'm content. That's probably the best block he could have made. I'm still content with the way this plays out. Uh, take five, and my Wilt Leaf lives. Yep, yep. Two cards. But whatever, it's like... Well, yeah. Yeah, the matchup kind of all through land, 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 and I've still got gas, and I've got guys, and... Yeah, that was kind of a blowout. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my, my hand there I thought was okay. Like, it was a couple of timer guys and yeah. news and three lands, and then I saw nothing but lands. I, I showed you my hand at the end. I had three yeah. more. Yeah, my creatures are just bigger and better than Tarmogoyf, so I had the pads if, if I needed them. My, my draw, I kept two land, five spell without a mana creature, but then my first draw phase was Bird of Paradise. So oh, my hand so went good from game. good enough to, oh my god, great. Sure, sure. So I, I went down with a whimper. Yeah. The Obzon deck. That's kind of what it's been doing in modern lately, going down with a whimper. So it's Obzon winning the Antiquities bracket and into the top eight where it will be paired against either Infect or Living End. Uh, Green-white aggro through to the top, I, I mean, let's say. The wilted Obzon deck, not the, not the sort of traditional Obzon deck. Good stuff.